Hank and Swing, 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 Hank and Swing. What it is, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Hank and Swing, baby. Welcome back to my channel, man. And if you're new here, if you're new, go ahead and do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, bell icon too, man, so you don't miss no more future videos. You did that your boy gonna bring your way. Yes, sir. Now, hey, man, let's go ahead and dig into this here review. And what I have before me is some dunks. Got some old dunks, man. And you already know the vibes, man, with the regular old dunk box, you know like reddish or uh, orange type box with the Nike up on the top with the swoosh, pretty much all over. Let's go ahead and read the label with Nike SB Low, white, fast gray, blue. It had a retail for 130. Don't know if that's gonna be the price when it release cause you know Nike, uh, the Nike Dunk's been going up on price lately, man. So, really unpredictable. Go ahead and dig on into this shoe, man. And we got the regular old white paper. And, and we got these beauties right here. The Nike SB Dunk Low, man. This is right here, the Keith, the Keith Huff edition. Keith Huff Nagel. I'm thinking I'm I think I'm saying his name right, man. Keith Huffnagel. Before we get started, I just want to say rest in peace to Keith Huff, man. Unfortunately, he passed away at a young age. So I'm pretty much sure that these shoes just done right here is pretty much inspired by him. And they got like, I'm guessing like, I think this is the third version I'm, I'm not sure man I think they got like two or three different versions of this right here the Keith Huff edition and this right here is the New York City version in that beautiful beautiful tumble leather that's pretty much all over the shoe man and white and you got your navy blue up in there and this swoosh it's like a cool gray type swoosh man tough this shit is tough Check out the back. Got that Keith Forever on the back with that New York City skyline up on that thing, man. And it's also 3M too, so it's gonna shine. I think that's a dope touch that they put that in there. It's probably my favorite feature on this shoe so far, that New York City skyline. And it's in 3M. Nice. You can see the Statue of Liberty. Got the twin towers up in there too. Yes, sir. Also come with a pair of laces. Navy blue laces. Yeah, check out the toe box, man. Got that navy blue on the toe box in that huff. You know? And also got this like metallic Nike swoosh up on that thing. Man. I don't know how I feel about that right now, but it's there. <laughs> yeah, check out the laces, man. It's like a cream or cell type laces, man. It's already up on this thing check out the media side got that nice white mid so navy blue bottom inside got that like lime green on the inside with the Nike SB got the inside the tone there and I'm just, and these SB you know usually the SBs the tone be real thick like real a lot of cotton, but not these, man. It's like real flat. Got that flat tongue. Yeah. I really don't know when these releases, man. I've been, you know I mean? I like to do my research on shoes before I actually, you know I mean? Review them to y'all so I can give y'all as much detail that I can. But ain't no release day. If thing I looked up, it always say unreleased or uh, say 2022. So I'm not sure if these release yet, man. I seen that they already got resellers already selling these for a cool five hundred to a thousand dollars already, bro. It's crazy. Inside of this, you got that huff on the inside of this one, man. But yeah, 
This right is the New York City edition, man. I think the they got San Francisco version. Uh, I think it's like white and black. And I seen another kind that's like slime, slime green and gray. And I think there's another one. I'm not quite sure, man. Y'all let me know. But these are tough, though, man. No doubt, man. I'm loving these right here. Nice quality. Nice quality. Yes, these are UA too, man. These are UAs, and they're looking damn good, man. Also, I got this light. I forgot to mention, I was showing uh, like a brownish type outlining up on this here. Pretty much all over the shoe. You can see it. Like a brownish outline. I don't know if that's part of the touch up for it, but hey, I'm not complaining because they look good on, on both of them. Like a brownish outline up under the Nike swoosh and all over. Pretty much showing how thick this great ass good leather is, man. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about this. Keep huff SB Dunk skateboard shoes. If you're a skateboarder, you already know the vibes. You're gonna love it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put these things on feet so y'all can see how they look. And if you enjoy my review, and when we finally get a release stable though, or y'all copy, I think that's a dope pickup, man. Real dope and different. But other than that, man, leave a comment and a thumbs up below if you enjoy my review. And go ahead and subscribe too, man. Also, if you want to know any more information about this shit, kick, if I got it from my wet now, man, you already know the vibes. Go ahead. Follow me on IG, Hanger Swain, E and T. And I answer any questions you may have, baby. Other than that, stick around for the own foot, man. Y'all be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. Hang and swing, 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 hang and